The war is accelerating in Ukraine, where Russians and Ukrainians claim to have made significant progress. The Russians in the north, the Ukrainians in the south, where the bulk of their counter-offensive is focused. Spokesman for the Russian Foreign Ministry said on Friday. Meanwhile, Ukrainian troops have made remarkable progress, according to Washington, on the southern front. The Pentagon endorses the optimism expressed by the Ukrainian authorities after the capture of Robotine, which they said had opened the doors to Crimea. In the north, they say they are resisting the attacks of Russia. This video shows the destruction of new fortifications built by the Russian army in the Kharkiv region. The shooting of Amarina, an endangered brown bear near a national park, has shocked many Italians and left her two young cubs without a mother. The man who shot her with a rifle on Thursday night told police he felt he was in danger as she'd entered his property. Animal rights activists are outraged. Andremo a San Benedetto de Marsi, insieme a animalisti italiani, LAV, PAE, tutti insieme, per cercare di capire con i politici, con i dirigenti del parco, del parco nazionale, che è un parco stupendo da Abruzzo, Lazio e Molise, cosa fare per aiutare gli orsi e per chiedere comunque che almeno il colpevole che è stato individuato venga processato subito e condannato con il massimo della pena. Villagers had often watched Amarina calmly walk in streets near the park, where she hadn't presented a threat to anyone. There are only about 60 of Amarina's subspecies of brown bear left in Abruzzo National Park. These are Saola's first steps into Shanwei in South China. This super typhoon, as the authorities have called it, comes with heavy rains and winds that exceed 200 kilometers an hour. Its force has been fully felt by this television reporter, who barely manages to stay on his feet while reporting on the typhoon. The authorities have declared a red alert, a measure that affects tens of millions of people. In Hong Kong, schools and businesses have been closed throughout the city, and a sense of fear is spreading among its inhabitants. Saola's imminent arrival has paralyzed air travel in Hong Kong, where more than 400 flights have been cancelled or delayed. Land traffic was operating relatively normally, although some bus routes were limited. The manager of Spain's men's football team has apologized for applauding his boss's claim he was the victim of a smear campaign after he kissed a female player. Luis de la Fuente said he was caught off guard when applauding the remarks of Luis Rubiales during a defiant speech. Rubiales has refused to resign despite momentous uproar over the incident. He kissed Spanish attacker Jenny Hermoso on the lips after the country's victory over England in the Women's World Cup final last month. After the controversy over the kiss that surrounded the victory of the Spanish team in the Women's Football World Cup, now players in the Spanish Women's League are going on strike. The players have called for industrial action for better paying conditions during the first two rounds of the upcoming season. The strike was called after negotiations for a new collective bargaining deal broke down with Liga F, the revamped women's league that started last season. The competition was due to kick off on the 8th of September.